this. When we talk about strength training, requires using the deeper brain centers that actually coordinate the different parts of the brain. They're the maestro of the brain. If you do not connect the mind and body because you're not doing this training, what happens is you're giving it the fuel, you're giving it rest, you're giving it oxygen, but what is it gonna do with it? The neurons are not stimulated, so they lose their connection, their atrophy. So dementia and Alzheimer's and all of those things, the degenerative disorders that are there, in addition to things within your body, like muscle atrophy, sarcopenia, um, bone uh, atrophy, like osteoporosis, all of these things start coming about and you see these degenerative processes throughout the body because when the signals are not going up, the response also is not coming back down. So the fastest way to deteriorate your brain is to be inactive. It's not that you stop reading and learning because exercise has this orchestrated interplay through every system in the body. So skeletal muscle is an endocrine organ. Skeletal muscle releases myokines. Myokines are proteins that go throughout the whole body and do various things, a couple hundred at least. And one of the kinds that's released from exercising muscle is called brain-derived neurotropic factor. So it's not just the activity of increasing oxygenation and increasing blood flow to all these tissues. It's actually the physical act of exercise of contracting skeletal muscle, releasing a neurotropic factor, which means it releases almost like fertilizer for the brain. It's like fertilizer for the brain.